Hello guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your own uh, VPN server on uh, your Raspberry Pi So for the purpose of today's video I'm going to use Pi VPN So the first thing that we want to do is uh, run uh, the installation command One step automated installation command This is a command you can find it below in the, in the description box So now we have to answer different questions about the installation process so the first question is uh, that this installer is going to transform Raspberry Pi into OpenVPN or WireGuard server. So you can just choose OK. Second question, the PiVPN is server it needs static IP address. I have already done so and you can find that on my uh, the first uh, YouTube shorts on my channel how to set up uh, a static uh, IP address. It's uh, very simple. So also choose OK. So as you can see, it says something about IP version 6 leak, and it's uh, better to like of course uh, routing IP version 6 to block uh, leakage. So you can also choose OK. Yes, it tells us about the THCV uh, reservation. For me, I'm going to choose no because I've already set up static IP address. You can uh, find it uh, in the first YouTube shorts on my channel. So here it tells us do you want to use your current network setting as static address? Uh, I have already done so, but just to make sure that everything is uh, correct. I'm going to choose yes just to make sure that everything is good as you can see it says something about IP conflict but don't worry about this because uh, most modern routers won't really uh, suffer from this problem so just uh, choose ok here we need to choose a local user to all our uh, VPN uh, configurations in my case there's only one user so I'm going to choose ok and now here this is a very uh, important step in the installation process there are two types of VPN uh, the first one is OpenVPN which is the old uh, like most known trusted VPN and there's also WireGuard personally I would choose WireGuard it's a new uh, VPN which, which is really very fast and uses a lot of uh, modern algorithm and photography so uh, I uh, really do recommend using a WireGuard for this purpose so this is the default uh, WireGuard port we need to use this in the, uh, the next step when we are going to open the router port to the outside so for now I'm just gonna leave it and I don't really recommend using another port to so choose yes so as you can see I have already installed Pi-hole and, uh, and you can see the video on my YouTube channel and it, it tells me that uh, I can use it as a DNS server so for me I'm going to choose yes if you don't have Pi-hole installed you probably won't see uh, this uh, question here here you need to select whether you are going to use uh, a DNS entry like public DNS or your own uh, public, ad uh, public IP address I recommend using your own public IP address. Server keys will not be generated. Here tells us about enabling unintended upgrades because uh, server will be open uh, the internet. So it's absolutely recommended to use it. So just choose OK. Yes. As you can see, everything is set up con uh, correctly. And now we need to run the command uh, pyvpn app to add our first client. Let's choose OK. Yes, I'm going to reboot just to make sure everything is correct. Just to reboot now. So now what we need to do is that we want to uh, open the port on our router to make sure that, that we can make connection from the outside to our network and actually to be able to reach uh, WireGuard. So each router is different uh, and how to open a port you can google that uh, like you can put the name of your router and uh, open the port. Every country has its own uh, routers on every uh, internet service provider but uh, anyway I'm gonna show you how I am I'm able to do that on my router so as you can see here uh, this is my uh, router login page this is my credential I'm going to log in in my case I need to go to uh, network settings and then NAT and as you can see here we are at the uh, port forwarding and now we need to add a new rule service uh, name let's call it uh, wire, uh, wire guard starting port and any port just default uh, wire guard port which we have already also seen uh, during the installation process here we need to specify the IP address of the Raspberry Pi we have also seen that during the installation protocol uh, WireGuard uses UDP so choose uh, UDP choose active mark it activated and now everything should be fine let's hit ok and now we can test uh, the working of the VPN by uh, connecting to, the, to 5G and then trying to connect the, to my home network through 5G using the VPN so now we're again into, uh, logged in into our uh, Raspberry Pi so first thing we need to do is to add the, a, new, uh, a new VPN client so we can do that by typing pi VPN and then add Right now the name of the client, in my case I'm gonna 
call it B Cyber. As you can see, the client is successfully generated. So as you can see here, we can see that bcyber.conf was copied to uh, home bcyber configs for easy transfer. Yeah, we, you can use this one if you want to run your uh, VPN on your PC or laptop. And if you want to run the VPN on your mobile, you, you can install the app uh, from the store and then run the command line pyvpn and then qr to generate qr code that we can use to connect. So this is what I'm gonna I'm going to do. So let's type pyvpn and then qr. So there's only one uh, client. This is one for bcyber. And as you can see here, we have the QR code. And I'm going to try to connect with it, uh, to connect to the VPN. So as you can see here, I have already installed the app from Google Store. And now, and since I'm using Android, I can hit plus and then scan from QR code. I can go here and I can scan the QR code. Let's give this tunnel a name. So B Cyber, create tunnel. And now as you can see, I search for my IP address. So this is currently my IP address, uh, so the 5G. When I activate uh, VPN, i go back here. As you can see, uh, this is my uh, IP address. And to make sure that everything is correct, as you can see here, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Now I can also search what's my IP, what is IP. As you can see, we have the same IP address, which means that uh, we were successfully able to use the VPN to connect to our uh, home network through uh, Pi VPN. And now, as you can see, I'm on uh, my Windows. So the download WireGuard for your Windows or uh, Mac OS or uh, even Debian or other uh, Linux distribution, you can go to wireguard.com forward slash install. And here I need to know to, uh, to install it for Windows. I'm going to download the Windows uh, installer. It will take a few minutes. And as you can see here, we have uh, tunnels, same uh, as uh, on the Android phone, and we can add a new tunnel. So as you can see, uh, to find the, uh, to find WireGuard's uh, configuration files, which we need uh, to use to connect to the VPN uh, on uh, our laptop or the PC, we can go to uh, home and then uh, my case p cyber or the user and then config and as you can see this is the file that we need to use to connect to the vpn on our uh, uh, windows machine so what you can do is that uh, you can simply use the command cat and then the file so you can see all the so you can copy all these uh, settings and paste them uh, in a file and let's also call it bcyber.com uh, to use it to connect to the vpn so you can use your windows to connect to the raspberry pi through ssh and then copy these settings and then paste them in a file so we can connect so here are my windows machine i logged into the raspberry pi through ssh and i have copied the settings and i have saved the file with the name bcyber.conf and now i am going to use this file to connect to the vpn on my windows machine so let's go back to the wireguard and let's hit import tunnel from file then i'm going to choose the file you can see this file and all of these are the configuration now let's uh, choose activate activating as you can see active and now here we can see the pcyber tunnel has been activated so as you can see now we are also able to connect to the vpn uh, on our windows machine uh, unfortunately i can't test it uh, on my windows because uh, i'm connected uh, to the same network through ethernet but uh, i have already seen it uh, on my android phone so it's no need to test it again on windows but as you can see, it's very simple. You can use the same way or do the same thing to connect uh, to connect it to your to connect your laptop or PC uh, to the VPN when you're outside the network. Uh, so that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to keep it as simple as possible and as uh, as interesting as possible. If you have any other questions, uh, please leave the comment down below, and we'll be happy to answer your question. Thanks again.